Hey everyone, Dustin with DNC Ball Cards back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing things a little different than I usually do. Um, just got back off of vacation. Before I left for vacation, I ordered a um, box from Stove Sports. If you haven't checked out his channel on YouTube, you definitely need to check it out. I will put a link below in the comments to his YouTube channel, but I stumbled across him uh, watching Up North Collectors video, and they had um, this subscription box called Junk Trunk Episode 1. Um, so by the time I watched that video, the Episode 1 was sold out, but Stowe Sports was working on Junk Trunk Episode 2. So that's what box we have today, and that's a box that I will be opening. Um, usually, this um, Junk Wax era is Corey's specialty, um, but uh, this box was $15. Um, I found it very interesting, uh, so I thought it was worth a shot to um, purchase this open it for you guys so uh, you can have a look at uh, what product the Stowe Sports is putting together. I think it's a cool product. It's worth $15 of fun for me. What else is fun is the way he packages this. Um, inside the box with the pack, he kind of gives you um, a menu here. Um, it says the following is a suggested tasting order to provide you with the most satisfying journey. It is in no way mandatory. Included with each item are the notable rookie and key rookies that can be found within. Please do not eat the card cards. As always, these packs are certified organic, gluten-free, dolphin safe, and have been hand curated and vine ripened by our cardboard uh, sommeliers to provide you with the freshest junk wax experience on the market today. So he has hors d'oeuvres, entrees, um, and uh, dessert. So we'll go through these packs here and um, show you what we got. So in his hors d'oeuvre section, we have a pack of 90 Upper Deck Low Series. In this, you can hope to find uh, Sammy Sosa, Juan Gonzalez, John Olerud, or Larry Walker rookie card. Then we've got a 90 Fleer, still part of your hors d'oeuvres. It features Frank Thomas, Juan Gonzalez, Sammy Sosa, David Justice, and Omar Vizquel rookies. Then we're moving on to the entree section. 91 score series 2. Uh, Chipper Jones. And then also it says win special Mickey Mantle cards. See details on back. Um, he says Mickey Mantle autos. Laugh out loud on that. Um, also in the entrees, 91 Upper Deck High Series rookies. Key rookies in this are Chipper Jones, Mike Messina, Jeff Bagwell, Michael Jordan short print, and also Hank Aaron autos. Laugh out loud he puts on there. Then we've got 90 score. Looking for Juan Gonzalez, Sammy Sosa, Bernie Williams, Mo Vaughn, Bo Jackson, shoulder pad cards. And then next on the list was 1994 Sports Flick, or at least Series 2. I didn't get that one. I got that one replaced by another one I'll show you in a second. So we got 89 tops. Looking for Randy Johnson, Craig Biggio, John Smoltz, and Gary Sheffield. 89 Don Russ. King Griffey Jr., Randy Johnson, Craig Biggio, John Smokes, Gary Sheffield, Kurt Schilling. Then we, this is what my 94 Sports Flicks or, or Leaf Series 2 was replaced by 90 Leaf Series 2. Frank Thomas, Larry Walker rookies in this. And the dessert is 93 tops. Uh, you're looking for a Derek Jeter on it. So we'll flip these back over. We will go in order like he suggested. It's his product. He knows his product. So I will open it the way the man suggested. So we'll start with a 90 upper deck right here. Let's 
a good thing that card wasn't a good one because I bent it there, but all right. Get situated here. Willie Wilson. Sean Abner. Dickie Thon. Doug Drayback. Eric Hansen. Ron Gant. Randy Kramer. Dennis Rasmussen. Todd Burns. Lance McCullers. Corey Snyder. I miss those glasses. Those I remember as a kid, I died to have one of those pairs of glasses and, and actually got a pair and wore them for a little bit. Dwight Evans. Tino Martinez. Rick Aguilera. And the Mark McGuire Collectors Club. I remember this card. I, it is the Oakland's checklist, but uh, I like that card a lot. Good looking card. Well, we didn't hit any of the rookies on that that we were looking for. And then we can't forget about the little hologram. This one is the Reds. Next 90 Fleer. Braves. So we got Dave Stewart, Lance Johnson, Lee Guterman, Darren Dalton, Charlie Huff, Geronimo Barrera, League's Best Shortstop, Tony Fernandez and Cal Ripken Jr., Ted Power, Jesse Orska, Bob Ojeda, Joe Orsalak, Tony Fossus, Lisa Aquina, Tim Tufel, and Bud Black. So, no luck with that pack either, who we were looking for. So, we're going to move on to the entrees here. If you could find a Chipper Jones rookie in this, that sure would be nice. So maybe we can get lucky and do so. Mark Gardner. Greg Brock. Andy Bennis. Dave Clark. Joel Skinner. John Candelera, Ed Whitson, Jim Presley, a Bo Jackson Master Blaster. That's a cool car. Brian Barnes, Rookie Prospect, Paul Marac, Rich DeLucia, World Series Trivia. Edgar Diaz, Rick Reed, Del Maharisic, Adam Peterson. No Chipper Jones rookie in that. Now we got 91 Upper Deck High Series. Albert Bell, Dave Schmidt, Omar Vizquel, Vince Coleman, Devin White, Gino Petrella, Kurt Gibson, 
Ed Whitson, Steve Chitron, Rafael Valdez, Alisuna, Todd Zeal, Vance Law, Gary Pettis, Baseball Heroes, and Sox hologram there. So still in that pack, we weren't lucky enough to pull any rookies that we were looking for. We'll move on to 90 score. Jose Oquinda, Jerry Brown, Greg Minton, Kirby Puckett, that's a dream team, that's a cool car, Bill Spears, Darren Jackson, Mark Knudsen, Kirk Manwaring, Mike Schooler, Bob Welch, Greg Max, Yolando Ruiz, Sid Bream, Stan Belinda, Kevin Blankenship, Jeff Fisher. Again, none of the cards we were hoping to get. 89 tops. Pretty good gum stain on there. Seen better, but. Brian Harvey. Bobby Witt, Oral Hershiser, Bruce Benedict, Jose Cecina, Dan Plazic, Kelly Gruber, Trash, Bill Bean, number one draft pick, obviously never amounted to anything, Darren Jackson, Willie Wilson, Buddy Bell, Ryan Sandberg All-Star, Luis Ag Aguilla, Jim Gott, those are cool Pirates Unis, and Frank Viola. Alright, so not, uh, not a thing that we were looking for in that as well. So this is going to be your 89 Dawn Russ. Puzzle piece, Joe Hessick, Daryl Boston, Chili Davis, John Fischel, Jose De Leon, Steve Jeltz, Rob Dibble, Mark Parent, Atlee Hammaker, Bob Kipper, Jose Alvarez, Mitch Webster, Mackie Sasser, and Mike Moore struck out once again. All right, now we've got 90 Leaf Series 2. I don't think I ever have ever opened any of these packs. It's like a pretty good, cool-looking puzzle that came along with it. Dan <coughs> Keeker, Sean Bosky, Chris Hoyles, Joe Heskett, Dwayne Ward, Brad Arn Arnsberg, Trevor Wilson, Randy Johnson, Gene Wilson, Dennis Rasmussen, 
Jim Lyrits, Lee Smith, Fran Manrique, Scott Ruskin, Ted Hagera. No luck there either. Last pack. This is the dessert. 93 tops. I'm not mistaken. This is what Tops Archives features this year. This card set. Scott Service. Joe Oliver. Scott Livingstone. The Hawk Andre Dawson. Mariano Duncan. Henry Coda. Tops Gold. Jeff Hewson. Roberto Hernandez, Derek Lilliquist, Kevin Koslafiska, Kos Todd Burns, Chris Sabo, Carlos Garcia, Ryan Hunter, and Kirk McCaskill. Well, we didn't pull a single rookie that we were looking for, but that was still, you know, 15 minutes of fun uh for fifteen dollars so um even though we may have not have hit any of those names and not that any of those cards are worth a lot you know it's fun to uh open these old packs up and and see what we can pull so like i said if you have not checked out stowe sports uh youtube page There'll be a link at the bottom to uh, definitely check it out and uh, see if he might have an episode three of the junk trunk that you can grab. Um, but I definitely appreciate everyone watching. If you're watching this, please, uh, please subscribe to this channel. Any subs uh, help us build this channel. Know that people out there are watching and want to see the content we put out. And to also to everyone out there watching, just keep doing what you do uh, to grow the hobby. If the hobby's at a, a great time right now, probably. Um, it may even be better than the late 80s and early 90s. So uh, just keep doing what you do to grow the hobby. Thanks.